Good evening, everyone. We're so thankful that God has given us a blessed day. Amen? So before we begin the evening program, once again, we're so thankful uh, that we had such a wonderful praise and worship time every session so far. And once again, God will give us another blessed session for praise and worship. So once again, welcome our praise and worship team for CLF. Please give them a big round of applause. Hallelujah. Somebody place Jesus in this place. Come on. Put your hands together for Jesus in this place. Hallelujah. We give you all glory. We give you all praise. Te damos toda gloria. Te damos toda honra, Señor. Gracias por tu presencia. Thank you for your presence. You are here. You are here, my Jesus. Let's sing. To the night, wanting a place to hide this weary soul, this bag of bones. Yes, God, and I tried with all my mind, but I just came with this fight. I'm slowly drifting, a bag of bones. So just when I I met a man I didn't know He told me that I was not alone But to believe I'm slowly drifting My cash is in the wind So, so long to my old friends Burning in bitterness No, you just keep it moving No, you you ain't welcome here Sing it out, sing So now take love of the streets of gold I sing of how you save my soul. This wayward son has found his way back. Oh, 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 oh. You pick me up, turn me around, you place my feet on solid ground. I thank the master, I thank the savior, because he healed my heart, he changed my name. Get up, 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 get up,
Submission. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. He's been my fourth man in the fire, time after time. Born of His Spirit, washing His blood. And what he did for me on Calvary is more than enough. Say, I trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. My Savior, the one who will never fail. He will never fail. Perfect submission. All is at rest. I know the only of tomorrow I swore the master oh this is my story this is my soul praising my risen king and savior all the day long oh, I trust him
Espíritu Santo de Dios llena este lugar Llena este lugar Dios con tu presencia Que hay un esparcimiento de tu poder Dios En este lugar sobre las vidas que están en este lugar Touch every heart with your power Your Holy Spirit Then sings my soul Too good to me. 
Give them another round of applause for giving us this precious time. <clears throat> well, everyone, tonight we have a special, exciting project that I would like to make you aware of. Uh, as you know, uh, the work that we do here at CLF is supported by many people. That's the only reason why it could be possible. And as you know, he's, uh, 
even in your church ministries, uh, people who don donate and sponsor your programs are a big help. Well, this person right here tonight, a special guest, he has a very exciting project coming up. He is making Christian movies. So he's made over 16 Christian-themed films, and he has an upcoming movie titled The Firing Squad uh, through Epic Studios. Uh, it is based on a true story about a person who went to prison, uh, converted to Christianity, and eventually converted the entire prison, I think, in Indonesia. So it's uh, based on a true story. So we're going to watch the trailer and hear from the director of the movie, director Tim Che. Do you ever wake up and realize your life has no purpose? Do I have a death wish, Morgan asked. Maybe I did. I thought this would be our final run ever. We had made millions and millions of dollars, but God had other plans. Peter Lowe, the one-time drug dealer turned pastor, along with two others, will be executed at 12 midnight local time. The next day, something strange happened. Someone came up to me and gave me this flyer about Jesus. You can be in heaven or you can be in hell. The choice is yours. We all walk straight out of here, pretend to be the media. This pathetic maggot got caught trying to escape my prison. Nobody escapes my prison. He's a changed person. He's a new man. I found Christ in here, and he forgave me. My name is Peter Lone, and I will be executed in two hours. Why am I being executed, you ask? Jesus is for free, and salvation is a gift. Do you believe in Jesus? Thank you very much. So at this time, we would like to welcome the director, Tim Che, to come out and say a few words. Well, thanks so much, Jerry. Well, it's really great being here. And um, by the way, I'm not the director of the film. Jesus is the director. Amen. Amen. We're just vessels. My wife is the producer of the film, Susan. And uh, Epoch Times, by the way, is the fourth largest faith-based conservative media company. Sally Sun is one of the ex uh, executive directors, as well as um, Anna Peck. I want to tell you guys something interesting. You guys just saw the trailer. By a show of hands, how many have heard of this movie before? I, or the story? Raise your hand. One, two, <laughs> three. Isn't that interesting? Like three or four people out of, you know, a thousand people here tonight or whatever it is. And um, we've been going around the country. We, in fact, um, we just came from the New York City premiere. And we won about 12 people to Jesus. Let me just tell you that. That's hard in New York City. <laughs> and then in Los Angeles, we had the red carpet premiere at Warner Brothers, and we won 23 people to Jesus after the movie. It's incredible. It's incredible what this film is doing. Um, we're releasing the film on 2,500 theaters. Can you keep it in prayer? Can you keep it in prayer on August 9th? But I want to go back to these three people who raised their hands about the movie. Why have not more people have heard about this incredible story? Three Christian prisoners, they face execution by firing squad, and they win the entire prison to Christ. Is that not the most amazing? That should be on CNN. Right. That should be on MSNBC. And yet, it's not. And I'll tell you why, because Jesus said in the Bible, if they hated me, they will hate you. <laughs> they will exclude you, and blessed are those who are excluded. I want to say real quickly one other thing. Uh, uh, it's in line with why 
Christ is not. We hope you get to see it. Please keep it in prayer. Um, it's August 9th. It's going to be five showings a day, I think. And my good friend, Pastor Greg Laurie, he said, you know what? In America, the 18 to 25-year-olds don't even know who. I want to thank all these people who are putting it here because you know what? This really is the ark. You're not going to find Jesus outside of this pavilion. That's the saddest part. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to put Jesus back into the movie theaters, back into the media. We want to start a revolution, starting with, with a story like this about Christian prisoners. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we're going to continue with a word of prayer. At this time, we would like to welcome the Secretary General of CLF, Pastor Q Yoon Jo from South Korea. Let us all pray. Living Father God, Lord, we truly thank you for your grace. Starting in 2017, we began the CLF. Lord, world uh, church leaders are together with us. In Houston, we are having the CLF World Conference. 많은 전 세계 지도자들과 함께 할수 있어서 감사를 드립니다. Lord, we are very thankful that we are able to join together with many church leaders throughout the world. 어제 우리는 말씀을 들었습니다. Last night we listen to the word. 내 생각이 어떠하든, no matter what my thoughts may be. 내 모습이 어떠하든, no matter what my image may be. 내 행위가 어떠하든, no matter what my actions may be. 주님이 의롭다면 의로운 것이고, if the Lord says that I am righteous, then I am righteous. 주님이 온전하다고 하시면 온전하다고 하셨습니다. If the Lord says I am perfect, then I am perfect. It says. 오늘 이 자리에 계신 모든 분들 마음에, within the hearts of all those who are seated here, 인간적인 생각을 다 제하여 주시고, please help us to get rid of all of our humanistic thoughts. 하나님 말씀만 세우. Lord, we ask that you only establish the word of God. Lord, as many changes occur in the hearts of the many Christian leaders here, Lord, wherever the word enters, that person cannot help but to change. We ask that your word be established to be held by your word. Bless them so that they may live as powerful servants of God. Lord, as the word enters, their lives will change. 가정이 변하고, the families will change. 도시가 변하고, the cities will change. 나라가 변하고, the nation will change. 박 목사님 마음 속에 세계를 얻고자 하는 믿음을 갖고 계시는데, Pastor Park has the faith in his heart to gain the world. 우리가 그 믿음을 받아서 마음으로 함께할 때, when we receive that faith and be joined together with his heart, 우리는 주님의 약속처럼 전 세계를 복음으로 덮게 될줄 믿습니다. Then according to your promise. We believe that we will cover the world with the gospel. Lord, now we are people who are joined with your heart. Lord, without any conditions, by you we became kings. In all the servants here, we ask that only your heart be established. Allow them to be like David who joined after his heart. Bless us so that we may become precious workers that change this world. Lord, we ask that you work among us with your power. Lord, you have justified us. You have cleansed us. You have perfected us. Lord, you have sanctified us. Lord, that Lord has entered our hearts. And that Lord defeated death and resurrected. Lord, we believe that that Lord is now our master. Lord, through the servant that you have established tonight, we ask that you speak to us to your heart's content. Lord, we ask that you bless this time so that our hearts may truly absorb your grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, everyone, now we're ready for a performance by your favorite dance team, the Memphis Bell. <clears throat> yes. You know, once again, I'd like to remind you, the Memphis Bell is a Christian dance group that wants to give glory and praise to God. And most of these dance kids were not people who were into dance at all. But as they received the uh, faith and hope uh, through the church and through the word, every one of them has changed. So tonight, 
They want to show you two dances that are very special to their hearts. First one is, come on everybody, followed by one more time. So please welcome the Memphis Bell.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the Memphis Bell actually has a booth uh, next door in the cafeteria for the expo, so you can find out all the work that they do. They've made tours where they perform and dance for people in different cities in America and also around the world. So continue to support uh, the Memphis Bell. You can buy merch and become an honorary member, I guess. So please find out how you can support the Memphis Bell work. Well, now we're ready for a special message from one of our guests. He is uh, attending our summit session. But at this time, he please welcome. Uh, I met a few of your missionaries, and all of them have demonstrated such a sacrificial spirit. I just got to meet one of your missionaries who spent 13 years in Africa. In so thank you. The work you're doing on our continent, the seeds you're sowing, are already bearing much fruit. And I believe in God that the fruit will be even greater in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> 
So once again, thank you, sir, and congratulations, and let's get ready to see Jesus again. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> for our next congratulatory message, we would like to welcome the second presiding bishop for Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship International from Louisiana, Bishop Daryl Brister. Okay, I guess he's going to not be here tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So then we're going to go ahead and proceed with our program. Uh, at this time, we have another wonderful stage prepared by the Gracias Choir. Uh, the Gracias Choir has been performing in many different countries around the world, but also they're headquartered in South Korea. But many of you have seen the Gracias Choir as they came and performed the Gracias Christmas Cantata as we did yearly, annually, 30-city tour uh, where they were able to preach, uh, we were able to preach the gospel to many different cities around the world. So during this CLF World Conference, as you can see, they have prepared so many wonderful uh, praises where we can receive the, the heart of God. Am I right, everyone? Uh, so we're so thankful for the ministry of music that God has given the Gracias Choir. And, you know, as they sing, they perform in many different languages. They perform songs of different cultures from around the world. And that is why God is able to speak to many people through their hearts through the universal language of music. So we're so thankful that they are able to be our featured performers for us tonight. Now, tonight, once again, they have prepared two separate stages. The first stage that we're going to witness tonight is a clarinet solo performance. Clarinetist Kim eun -ah from the Gracias Orchestra, she has prepared the hymn, There Shall Be Showers of Blessing. Then we're going to have a cello solo performance. Cellist Sa Yu Jin of the Gracias Orchestra, she will be performing the hymn, Since Christ My Soul from Sin Set Free. Everyone, when I think about the performances of the Gracias Choir, I can see that hymns truly are a God's gift to us to receive the heart of God. Am I right, everyone? So we're so thankful uh, to once again invite the Gracias Choir and Orchestra to come and perform for us. So everyone, please give a warm round of applause for clarinetist Kimena of the Gracias Orchestra.
Thank you very much. And now we're going to have a performance by the full choir and orchestra. Tonight they have prepared three songs for us. First, we're going to hear a Spanish song titled Señor. This will be followed by the hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. And they'll complete their stage with a jubilant song. Everyone, please warmly welcome the Gracias Choir. Señor, tú me llamas por mi nombre desde lejos por mi nombre cada día tú me llamas Señor tú me ofreces una vida santa y limpia una vida sin pecado, sin maldad. Señor, no lo tengo para darte, solamente te ofrezco mi vida.
of the Gracias Choir. The next hymn you will sing now is Nearer My God to Thee. There let the way appear, steps unto heaven. All that thou sendest me in mercy give. Angels to back on me, nearer my God to thee. No matter what circumstances we face, the Lord is always with us, and he leads us nearer to him. So we are safe and at peace. Today I praise God who is always near us. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we're so thankful for the music that God has given us during this CLF uh, World Conference. Uh, but now is the most important time uh, we're able to listen to the Word of God once again tonight. Our guest speaker, Pastor Oksu Park, founded the Good News Mission, but he also founded the Good News Theology School that has been preaching the gospel in over 100 countries around the world. Once again, we're so thankful to welcome our guest speaker. Please welcome Pastor Oksu Park. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, it's in such an honor to be here in the United States to be able to share the word in front of so many pastors. And I have a favor to ask of you. Please come to Korea. <laughs> And when you come to Korea, I will welcome you to Korea. And then may you come to Korea, share fellowship with us, and share the word of God with us. It's such an honor for me to stand at the pulpit in front of the pastors of the United States. It brings me infinite joy and thankfulness. If I learned some English, I'd be good at it. Then I'd have to stand here alone. But I always bring this handsome guy with me. He's handsome, right? The important thing is all the park last name of Korea are handsome. Uh, the pastor of the New York church, he's also a park. I'm a park. And he's also a park. He's handsome, right? Yeah. I'm so thankful to spend these days and hours with you. And there are so many things I want to talk about. But I really hope that you will also visit us in Korea. And we can share fellowship and have a good time. Let us read from the Bible. Acts chapter 8. We'll read from Acts chapter 8, verse 1. 
계속해서 음, 16절까지 읽겠습니다. We'll read from Acts chapter 1, excuse me, Acts chapter 8, verses 1 through 16. And Saul was consenting unto his death. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial and made great lamentation over him. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering into every house, and hailing men and women, committed them to prison. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies and that were lame were healed. And there was great joy in that city. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out to that himself was some great one, to whom they all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the great power of God. And to him they had regard, because that a long time he had bewitched them with sorceries. But when they believed Philip, preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized both men and women. Then Simon himself believed also, and when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Now when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that, uh, that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent unto them Peter and John, who when they were come down, prayed for him, them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah, 감사합니다. Okay, thank you. The Bible speaks about Jesus Christ. When I meet with people and talk with them about this and that, we are able to talk about what's in our hearts. But after we come to know Jesus, when Jesus settles in our hearts, we open our lips to talk and we automatically end up talking about Jesus. And this is what the Bible records about. And when we read these kinds of words in the Bible, it's so amazing because 2,000 years ago till now, so much time has passed. But when the words of Jesus enter our hearts, we cannot help but talk about Jesus. And if it's not about Jesus, there's no need for us to gather here for days to talk. 정말 우리가 다 이야기를 할수 없지만 우리 한 사람 한 사람 예수님 하시는 너무 크고 놀라운 일이기 때문에. And we cannot listen to every single person, but so great is the work of Jesus in each and every one of us. 여기 이제 사도행전 8장에 사울이 그저 뭡니까 교회 잠매를 하고 그도 옥에 넘기고 막 이런. In Acts chapter 8, Saul was persecuting the church and putting people in jail. These terrible things were happening. And while such things are happening, the people that were scattered, they went preaching the word, they prayed, and Philip went and preached the word in Samaria. What that means is there is Jesus in our hearts. 예수 우리 마음에서 예수님의 이야기를 하고 싶도록 마음을 일으킨 일이기 때문에. And Jesus stirs up our hearts so that we want to talk about Jesus. 되어지는 일입니다. That's how these things happen. 저도 한해 복음을 듣고 말씀을 전한 이제 목사가 되었습니다만은. I heard the word, heard the gospel, and I became a pastor. 한번 남미에 갔는데. And one time I went to South America. 어떤 캐톨릭 신부님이 저에게 연락을 하셨어요. A Catholic priest reached out to me. I was there with the choir. 합창단이 우리 여기 교회 와서 50분 동안 노래를 하고. He asked, could the choir come to our church and perform for 50 minutes? 목사님이 이제 우리 교회 와서 30분 동안 말씀을 전해. And then pastor, could you preach the word at our church for 30 minutes? They asked. 생전 처음 그 캐톨릭 교회 갔어요. So for the first time in my life, we went to a Catholic church. 로마 교황청 허가를 받았다고. They said they already got the permission from the Vatican in Rome. 
그분에게 제가 30분 말씀을 전하고. And at that church, I preached the word for 30 minutes. 그 다음에 마침내 저녁 때까지 이런저런 이야기를 계속해서 예수님의 이야기가 시작됐어요. And then until the evening, I sat down with the priest and we talked about this and that about Jesus. 예수님 그분이 너무너무 기뻐하시고. And the priest was so happy. 한국에 제가 왔어요. And then I came back to Korea. 근데 그분이 한국말 어떻게 배웠는데 배워가지고 대도 않는 한글로. But I don't know how he learned Korean, but he sent a message to me in Korean. 우리가 우리 동역자들이 있으니까 와서 한번더 말씀을 전해주세요. He says, I would like you to come back to us and preach the word to my colleagues. 그래서 비행기 타고 남미에 갔어요. So I got back on the plane, went to South America. 2천 명이 모였어요. 2,000 people had gathered, and there I preached the word. And we had a very, very happy time. And in the evening session, 3,800 people came. Not everybody could fit inside. Because all people are human, and there is not one person who has not sinned. Therefore, the people, they all want to receive the forgiveness of sins and be able to go to heaven. But these words that we can share are so graceful, so wonderful, so thankful. And Pastor Joseph is always next to me interpreting for me. You know, rather than standing alone, when it's the two of us, I feel so much more free. Because with one heart, we speak about the gospel. And what I'm talking about is the words of Jesus. And when the words of Jesus enter your heart, it brings you joy and peace. In Acts chapter 8, there is persecution, there's people put in prison. And then they that were scattered in verse 4, they scattered abroad when everywhere preaching the word. If it wasn't for the persecution, they would remain in Jerusalem talking about Jesus, this and that. But because of the persecution, they were scattered all over the place. I don't know who was the first one to talk about Jesus in Korea. I don't know who was the first person to talk about Jesus in what country. But now we are sitting here immersed in the words of Jesus. Verse 4, therefore they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. Everyone, when we are traveling, you bring in your bag the important things, the things that you got to use. But you can't pack up your whole house into a bag and bring it with you. But the important thing is, even though you don't put it in your bag, when you travel, your mouth goes with you. Even though you don't put it in a bag, your eyes come with you. Even though you don't put it in a bag, your hands come with you. That's how God made us to be. Nobody left your feet behind at home, right? None of you left your necks at home, right? You simply came here, but you speak. Hey sister, let's go to the service tonight to listen to the word of God. Let's go listen to the precious word of God. Let's go share fellowship. Let's go fall into Jesus. Let's fall into Jesus. When Jesus fills your heart full, when you're full of Jesus, He rids your heart of worries and pain. Let our hearts be rid of suffering and be full of Jesus. And that is the way God guides us. I never imagined that I would become a pastor. I was born in 1944. When I was born, Korea was a colony of Japan. And Japan was ruthless. During the War of the Pacific, they sent Korean men as soldiers to fight in the War of the Pacific. 
형제였는데 My father was of five brothers. 둘째 말고 셋째 넷째가 태평양 전쟁에서 죽어 소식이 없습니다. And then his brothers, uh, second, third and fourth, they fought in the war of the Pacific. They either died, there's no news of them. 제일 마지막 동생은 한국 전쟁에서 세상을 떠났어요. And my father's youngest brother lost his life at the Korean War. 우리 아버지 늘 얼굴에 근심이 있고 웃음을 잃고 슬픔이 있었어요. Therefore my father's face was all of always full of sadness and grief. 제가 아버지하고 달랐던 것이 뭐냐면 But how was I different from my father? 어릴 때부터 교회를 나갔습니다. I went to church since I was young. 죄를 많이 지었고 도둑질도 거짓말도 나쁜 일 많이 했는데 I committed so much sins, theft, lies, so many bad things. 성경을 읽고 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 읽었어. But I read the Bible again and again and again and again. 성경 그래 위기서를 읽는데. And then I read Leviticus in the Bible. 저는 그때 어린 뭐지 열몇 살된저 뭐야 소년이지만. I was just a young man in my teens at the time. 내가 많이 고파 친구들 모이면 나무 사과 밭에 사과도 따먹고. But back then I was so hungry. Me and my friends would, we would steal apples. 감나무 때 감도 따먹고. And we would go steal persimmons. 그 양심의 가책에 많이 젖어 있었을 때였습니다. And I felt so guilty in my conscience. 그 제가 이제 그때 교회 나면 성경 읽기 시작했고 했는데. But at the time I used to go to church. So I began to read the Bible. 내가 진짜 죄가 많은 인간인 걸 알았습니다. I realized how full of sin I was. 근데 레위기를 읽는데. But as I read Leviticus. 레위기 너무 좋은 글이야. Leviticus the words were so nice. 왜 좋은 이 글이냐면. Why are those words so nice? Why? 딴 다른 게죄 있는 사람 레위기가 좋은 거예요. I don't know about other people, but if you have sins, Leviticus is so good to you. 레위기 4장을 읽는데. I read Leviticus 4. 여러분 정말 그. 제 사장이 죄를 지었을 때 어떻게 하면 죄에서 사함 받는 방법이 쫙 나와요. When a priest has committed sins, how he can get his sins forgiven? 그다음 온 해중이 죄를 지었다 어떻게 하면 죄에서 사함 받는 이야기가 나와요. It talks about when a congregation has sins, how they can be forgiven. 그래 족장들이 죄를 지었다 어떻게 죄에서 사함 받는 이야기가 나와요. And it talks about when the rulers have sinned, how they can be forgiven. 그리고 마지막에 And then finally 평민이 죄를 지었을 때 어떻게 하면 죄사함 받는 얘기야? It talks about when the common person has sinned, how he can be forgiven. 저는 족장도 아니고 뭐도 아니고 평민이었어요. I'm not a ruler. I'm not this and that. I'm a common person. 놀라운 것은. But the amazing thing is. 평민이 죄를 범했을 때. When the common person has sinned. 정말 그 너무 신기한 게. It's so amazing. 홈 없는 암염소를 끌고 왔어요. He shall bring over a kid of the goats, a female without blemish. 하나님 제사를 드리는 거예요. To give as a sin offering to God. 그래 제사장은 그 흠은 암염소를 머리에 안수를 해요. And the priest lays his hand upon the head of the goat without blemish. 그 안수가 내가 가진 모든 죄를 염소에게 넘긴다. And the laying on of hands lays all of my sins upon the goat. 예수님이 갈릴리 and when Jesus went to River Jordan, he met John the Baptist there. And he said to John, John, baptize me. But John refused, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, comest thou to me? But what did Jesus then say to him? Suffer it to be so now. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. What does this mean? How is Jesus getting baptized by John fulfilling all righteousness? Because Jesus came for our sins. Through the laying on of hands, it is the process of our sins being laid upon Jesus. In the Old Testament, when they do the laying of hands upon the lamb, the sin is placed upon the lamb. And when that lamb is slain and the blood is shed, our sins are forgiven. And those scenes of the Old Testament was a foreshadow of how Jesus would die for our sins. Therefore, Jesus came and went to River Jordan to meet John the Baptist. And Jesus wanted to be baptized by John. 
But John said to him, I need to be baptized of thee and comest thou to me. Yeah, that's right. Jesus is higher. He's the son of God. It's Jesus who should be baptizing John the Baptist. But, but how did Jesus answer him? Suffer it to be so now. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. What does it mean? For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. When the laying on of hands was done upon the head of Jesus, through that all of our sins are laid upon Jesus. So before Jesus was crucified, Without receiving that laying on of hands, he cannot die for our sins. But through John the Baptist laying his hands on the head of Jesus. And then the next day, John saw Jesus coming unto him and he said, Behold, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. The day before, and be guilty. Or if his sin which he had sinned come to his knowledge. He shall bring his offering, a kid of the goats, a female without blemish. For his sin which he hath sinned. And then what does it say? He shall lay his hand upon the head of the sin offering. Through that, my sins are laid upon the goat. And when that goat is put to death, my sins are forgiven and that blood is put upon the horns of the altar at the tabernacle. And then the blood is sprinkled at the mercy seat and the sins are all covered. The sin offering of the Old Testament is a foreshadow of Jesus. And so up till then they used the sin offering to get their sins forgiven. But Jesus came to this earth to forgive our sins. And that was when John the Baptist met Jesus. And Jesus wanted to be baptized from John the Baptist. John the Baptist was shocked. You're the son of God. No way. I have need to be baptized of thee, comest thou to me? That means is when John the Baptist laid his hands on the head of Jesus right then all of our sins of the whole world was placed upon the way the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. Surely what the Bible says is the sins of the world have been laid upon Jesus. Amen. Amen. And for those sins, Jesus was crucified. Jesus didn't just die. He died carrying the sins of the world. More precisely put, even the sins of the pastor sitting in the very front with the gray hair, even his sins were carried away by him. And even the sins of the pastor in the dark suit, Jesus carried away. And the sister's sins next to him was also taken away. All those sins all put together is called the sin of the world. So let me ask you a question. Pastor Oksu Park is asking the pastors of the United States. When Jesus took away the sin of the world, he says, the Lamb of God who took away the sin of the world. But suppose when he died on the cross, uh, I don't want to do this. I'm going to leave the sin behind. Did he drop off the sin and then get crucified? 
아닙니다. No. 아닙니다. No. 그때 요한은 세상죄를 지구하는 하나님의 어린 양이라. At that time, John said, "The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world." 확실하지요. This is clear, right? Amen. Amen. 자 그러면 세상죄 속에 여러분 죄 포함됐어요? Then in the sin of the world, are your sins also included? 아니에요. No. 여러분 세상죄 지구에서 미국 생기지도 않았는데. When the sin of the world was carried, USA was not even formed yet. 자 여러분 제가 지나가 예수님 같이 같이 왔어요. Everyone, Jesus also take away your sins. 만일에 안 지왔으면 큰 일입니다. If he did not, we're in big trouble. 예, 안 지나가 왔으면 우리 다 우려 돼요. 예수님 내죄 저번 죄 주세요. 내죄 이름이다 막 그래야 돼요. If he did not, we all have to cry. Oh no, Jesus, what am I going to do about my sins? Please take them away. Oh no. 근데 예수 십자가에 가실 때. But when Jesus went to the cross. 세상죄를 지우가는 The Lamb of the God who takes away the sin of the world. 미국 사람들 지금 그 많은 죄. All the sins of the American people. 한국 사람 지금 수없이 많은 죄. All the countless sins of the Korean people. 전부 합 세상죄를 지우가는 하나님의 어린 양. All put together, the sin of the world, the Lamb of God who took away the sin of the world. It is so amazing. We're so thankful because our sins are no longer on us. They have been laid upon Jesus. And Jesus received the punishment for those sins. Amen. 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 여러분의 죄는 빼놓고 그랬죠. But he did all that without your sins, right? 아니에요? No. 아니에요? No. 여러분 죄도 포함됐어요. Did it also include your sins? 그리고 여러분 제일 먼저 확인해야 할 것은 The very first thing you need to check 성경을 읽으면서 is through reading the Bible. 예수 시대 못 바뀔 때 when 세상 제일이 죽었는데 When Jesus was crucified, he died for the sins of the world. 그때 내 죄가 들어갔느냐 빠져요. 그게 중요해요. Is my sins there included or without my sins? That's what you have to check. 중요하죠. This is important, right? 중요하죠. It's important. 다 사했는데 Even though he forgave them all but he tells Pastor Joseph, Hey, you're so handsome. So that's why I didn't take away your sins. <laughs> then he's going to be in big trouble. You know, do you know why? You know, you know, why? You know we believe this. The fact that Jesus was crucified for our sins, we're sure. People are unclear about this, so they are unable to live their spiritual life. Your pastors, correct? When you preach at your churches, First and foremost, you have to teach from the pulpit that for your sins, he was crucified and paid for your sins in full. That's what you have to teach. 우리 강남 교회 성도들이 The members of my church, the Gangnam church. 목사님 누구? 목사님 이번에 어디 가십니까? They asked me, so pastor, where are you going this time? 이번에 저 LA도 가고. This time I'm going to LA. 남미도 가고. South America. 뉴욕에서 같이 피한다. And also I'm going to have a conference in New York. 절도 안 오시. What about us? 다녀올게. Okay, okay, I'm going to have a good trip. 가지 마세요, 못 하는 거예요. They can't say, don't go, pastor. 왜? Why? Because I'm a gospel preacher. Of course I'm going to be doing this. And when I'm out, I don't talk about anything else. There are so many people still suffering in sin. And my job is to open the word of God to them to have them become free from sin. I don't know all your sins. But it is true that you have sinned. But when we read the Bible, when Jesus was crucified, it wasn't Jesus simply got crucified. Because 
Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. When he took away the sin of the world, did it include your sins or not? It included your sins. And so we have to say, Oh God, please forgive me, forgive my sins. It's not bad. But, but the sure thing is, sins of the whole world have been laid upon Jesus. Right then, when he was crucified and he said, It is finished. Jesus. He received all the punishment for our sins. And at the sin offering, the last thing they do after they kill the lamb, they take the blood and put the, and put the blood upon the horns of the altar. And so it is to wipe out all the sins. Kim Gizong, your sins are washed. So and so, your sin is washed. He didn't say that. He said, Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And so the important thing, just look at one thing. The Bible says, Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. So are my sins included in the sin of the world or not? That's what you have to check. If your sins are outside of the world, Jesus took away the sin of the world, then you would remain a sinner. If your sins are not part of the sin of the world, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. But the sin of the world includes your sin. Therefore, when he carried the cross and died, who says so? What can we say? Oh, now I can live. My sins have been finished with Jesus at the cross. Now I live. And on one hand, people say, Oh God, I'm so sorry that you had to die for my sins. But when Jesus isn't looking, we go, Yay, we live because of his death. Yeah, that's great. It kind of doesn't make sense. But the sure thing is, yeah, your sins are forgiven because. Not because of your goodness, not because you prayed, not because you read the Bible. But when he was crucified, he received all the punishment for your sins. So when we go to heaven, Oksu Park, you have many sins. But in the book of life, Oh, none of your sins are there. How is that so? What do you mean how so? Because Jesus took them all away and he was crucified. That's why. That's how it is now. But when we go to heaven, people who have not received the forgiveness of sins, you see them going to hell, you'll be so thankful for his blood that he has forgiven your sins. You know, the members of my church, they say to me, you know, they get annoyed, but I still travel abroad so much. And recently I got to meet presidents. One time I went to Brazil, a, a priest from Brazil called out to me, Pastor, come to our church and preach the word to us at our church. And I went there with our choir. Choir performed for 50 minutes and pastor can you deliver the message for 30 minutes so we went the choir sang and then I delivered the message for 30 minutes and afterwards and all afternoon long I spoke with the priest of that church he received the fragrance of sins he was so happy and then I returned to Korea 
저한테 편지하려고 한국말을 배웠더라고. It seemed that he learned Korean to write a letter to me in Korean. 한국말로 편지를 썼어요. He wrote to me a letter in Korean. 이번에 자기 그 동료들인데 말씀 좀 전해 달라고. Can you come again to preach the word to my colleagues? He asked. 70명 있는데. He says I have 70 colleagues. 말씀 전해 달라고. Come and preach the word to them. 그래 갔어요. So I went again. 70명이 아니고. But it wasn't 70. 2000명이 모인 거. 2000 people came. 그 다음 저녁에는 3,800명이 왔는데. And for the evening session, 3,800 people came. 다못 돌아서 돌아간 분도 있는데. And it couldn't fit everybody. Some people had to go back home. 죄송한 거기에 불교 선인도 왔고. And there even Buddhist monks came. 또 이제 장로교도 왔고. And even Presbyterian church people came. 다 모였어. All kinds of pastors. They all came from different places. 여기 그 장소인데. And this is that place. 아, 이게 사진을 보여주셨네. No, these are nice pictures. Yeah, 그 성당이고요. And this is the cathedral where I preached. 근데 여기 선임이죠. And these are the Buddhist monks. 예, 근데 너무 너무 행복한 시간들이었어요. And we had a very very happy time together. 모두 재산 받고 너무 너무 기뻐했어요. People received the forgiveness of sins and they rejoiced so much. 중요한 것은 여러 가지가 있지만. And there's many important things, but. 난 죄놈의 저주를 받아야고 멸망을 받을 사람. Because of sin, I'm supposed to be cursed and destroyed. But the clear thing is, when Jesus Christ was crucified, Jesus was without sin. But because our sins were laid on him, he was crucified. Right then, he forgave all of our sins. But you have to believe this. Jesus died for your sins, and your sins are forgiven. Then because they are forgiven, you receive grace. He died for your sins. He forgave all of your sins, but you say, Oh God, I'm a sinner. Jesus, Jesus says to you, Oh, you're a sinner? Then what are you doing here? Go to the lower place. Go to hell then. You know, if that may happen, you have to be careful. Oh, wait a minute, Jesus. Never mind. Oh, wait a minute, Jesus. Never mind. Oh, wait a minute, Jesus. Never mind. Wait a minute, Jesus. Never mind. You washed away all my sins. I don't have any sins. I'm not a sinner. I'm going to go into heaven, Jesus. You know, if you're in that shape when you go to heaven, you're going to be in big trouble. So as pastors, teachers, church members, your sins have been washed away perfectly. Amen. Amen. He said perfectly just now, right? Perfectly. He has washed them all. Yeah, I don't know much. So here in Acts chapter 8. And they that were scattered abroad went and what did they do? 자, 그리스도인들이 그 예루살렘에서 복음을 전한데 막 비파게 나서 사방이 흩어졌어요. The Christians were preaching the gospel in Jerusalem, but there was persecution and they were scattered scattered all over. 그때는 예루살렘 안에서만 예수님의 제자들이 있고 그러니까 예루살렘 사람들은 죄 사함 받죠. 딴 사람 모르는 거예요. And before this, the disciples were only inside of Jerusalem and only the people there heard the gospel. 그러니까 유대인들은 막 비파게 but there was heavy persecution against them. They could no longer stay in Jerusalem and they were scattered all over. And to the places that they were scattered to, there they preached the word of God. And so them getting persecuted was also a will of God. If it wasn't for the persecution, people would hear the gospel within Jerusalem. But the people outside would not be able to hear the gospel. Therefore, what the Bible tells us is all things work together for good. Sometimes you think, I didn't want this. Why is this happening? Did I do something bad? No. God says all things work together for good. I'm not sure, but this will be for good. Even this, this is all for good. And then you time passes, all of that comes true. So the sure thing is, God says in the word, they that were scattered went abroad everywhere preaching the gospel. What is the gospel? The fact that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. To the people we don't even know, we preach the gospel. 
saying what? We were sinners. But God loved us and laid our sins upon Jesus. And when Jesus was crucified, for whether you're American or Korean, for the sins of the people of the whole world, he took the sins and was crucified. Amen, Amen everyone. 네, yes. 감사합니다. Thank you. And that's what we believe. 죄송하지만, Excuse me, but could you turn off the flash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it hurts my eyes. Excuse 감사합니다. me. Thank you. 자, 중요한 건 the important thing is no matter what it was, the Bible tells us. It said about Jesus, the Lamb of God who took away the sin of the world. Not the sins of the American people. Not only for the sins of the Korean people. Not for the sins of the well believers. Simply sin of the world. If the sins you've committed belong to the sin of the world, without any reason, those sins were laid upon Jesus. And instead of you, Jesus was crucified and he received the punishment. And the people who believe in that Jesus. You have to believe that he was crucified. How do you believe? He was crucified for our sins. And that wasn't the end. If so, then am I a sinner? Yeah, you are. But if Jesus received all the punishment for my sins, it means that my sins have been forgiven. I go to many different churches. But still in many churches they say that you are sinners. I visited a church about 200 kilometers north of New York where my son is. I visited a church there and I preached the word there. And afterwards, the pastor came up to the pulpit. Everyone, until now, haven't we been saying that we are sinners? But now we need to fix that heart. By the blood of Jesus, we are no longer sinners. The blood of Jesus had only one purpose. The blood was shed to forgive the sins of all of us people. Whether you're Korean, 사람, American, 사람, Japanese, German, he died for all those sins. Therefore, we, when you try to hear those words, Satan whispers to you, but you lied, you stole, you committed such and such sins. But God said Jesus took away the sin of the world. That's what it says. And the sins you committed is the sin of the world. And Jesus took those sins. Therefore, are you sinners or not? That's right, not. Right. You are no longer. And they were preaching this gospel in Jerusalem and Saul persecuted them. And they got persecuted, could no longer remain in Jerusalem, so they were scattered all over. But in chapter 8, verse 4, the people who were living in Jerusalem because they were preaching the gospel, they were scattered. And they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. So in God's eyes, this is going well. God scattered them out from Jerusalem so that people outside the city could hear the word. And Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached the gospel there. And Samaria is not Jerusalem. Right? 
So through this tribulation, through the apostles getting kicked out of Jerusalem, had they not been scattered and they remained in Jerusalem, what would this have happened to the Samaritans? Samaritans would have been big trouble. But through the persecution, the apostles inside of Jerusalem were scattered and they preached the gospel outside of Jerusalem. And in the book of Acts, the amazing thing is in Acts chapter 10, there's a man named Cornelius. And Cornelius was a centurion of an Italian band. And at, at that time, Israel was a colony of Rome. And there are Roman soldiers throughout Israel. So Cornelius was a military officer of Rome, but he was sent to serve in Israel. But this officer, he's a Roman soldier, but he was in Israel. But he got to have the faith to believe in God. In chapter 10, verse 2, it says, A devout man, one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. And so he entered the faith to believe in God. But he had not received the forgiveness of sins. In churches in Korea and throughout the world, there's many people who say, Oh, yeah, Jesus died for my sins, but in their hearts, they have not received the forgiveness of sins. And then, oh, there, there was an angel of God appeared in, in the Bible to him and called out to him saying, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thine alms and come up for a memorial before God. And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon whose surname is Peter. And he lodges with one Simon a tanner. And Cornelius sends people to go and invite Peter. Up until this time, the apostles preached the gospel only to the Jews. They would not deal with the Gentiles. Because when God created the heaven and the earth after he made man, he selected the Jewish people to be the blessed people. And God was hoping that when people see that Jews will be blessed, they will follow them to be blessed as well. But the Jews refused God and crucified Jesus. But God had allowed the blood of Jesus to wash away the sins of the whole world so all of us could receive the forgiveness of sins through his blood. It is not that we have to get our sins forgiven but just believe the fact that the cross of Jesus has forgiven our sins. Amen. Amen. Even though Jesus has forgiven our sins, if we don't believe that, we'll be saying, Oh, I'm a sinner. And many people, even though they go to church, they say, I'm a sinner. What are you, a sinner? Yes, I am. But didn't Jesus die on the cross and forgive your sins? Yeah, 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 but I still commit sins, so I'm a sinner, so I don't know what to do. There's many people who say that. No, when Jesus forgave your sins, he forgave them forever. No, forever meaning whether it be that time or today, it's the same. 
저도 제가 잘난 똑똑한 게 아니고. It's not because I'm great or smart. 저는 장로 교회를 다녔는데. I used to go to a Presbyterian church. 장로님 교회 갈 때마다 목사님 너 주님 죄인을 용서해 주십시오. 장로님 너 죄인을 용서해 주십시오. 성도 다 죄인 용서해 달라고. And at that church, the pastor would say, "Oh, I'm a sinner. Forgive me." The elder would say, "I'm a sinner. Forgive me." And all the members, they everybody said, "We're sinners. Please forgive us." 그때 저는 성경을 구체적으로 여러 번 읽었어요. But at that time, I read the Bible through and through many times. 한번 읽고, one time through, 두번 읽고, two times, 세번 읽고, three times through, 다섯 번 읽고, five times. 분명히 내려가 사실. And it was so clear, my sins have all been forgiven. 저는 내가 친구들하고 어릴 때 한국에 그때 막 해방돼 얼마 안 돼서 일본 해방돼 얼마 안 돼서 막 배가 많이 고팠는데. Not long after Korea got independence from Japan, we were very hungry. 지금 이제 한국 아이들 잘 먹는 거 보면 참. And when I see the Korean kids eating well nowadays, it makes me so happy. 우리 아들 딸클 때만 해도 우리 시대 비교 없이 잘 먹었는데. Even when my son and daughter was small, they ate very well compared to my generation. 지금은 막 한국 사람들이 그런데 막 되게 잘해요. And nowadays, you know, Koreans are so much, so plentiful. 한국 사람 경제 수치는 전 세계 1위는 아니지만. The Korea does not have the best economy in the world. 삶을 사는 건 세계 최고로 잘 사는. But how the people live is the best in the world. 미국 사람 비교할 수 없을 잘 살아요. They live so well, Americans can't compare. 그 한국 사람 현대 자동차를 많이 타는데. And many of the Korean people drive the Hyundai cars. 현대 자동차가 처음에는. 그뭐다 만든 엔진을 못 만들었어요. You know when they first made their cars, they were unable to build their own engines. 그래서 일본에 가서 엔진을 사 가지고 이제 만들었어요. And they went to Japan and purchased engines, and that's how they built their cars. 그래서 일년 동안 사다 일본 기술자들이 우리 엔진만 좀 가르쳐 달라. And then after a year, they asked the Japanese company to teach them how to make their engines. 안 돼요. 항상 엔진 못 만들어. No, no, you can't. Koreans can't make engines. 아 죄송합니다. Oh, we're sorry. Okay. 돌아왔어요. And then the, he came back. And two years later, they asked again. No, you have a long way to go. And the technician went back three years later. Please teach us how to build engines. You have a long way to go. So the Korean CEO got angry. All right, then we'll build our own engine. What? You think the engines that you build will actually be able to move a car? So the CEO wrote that down. You think the cars you build with your engines will actually go? Fine, let's build our own engine and see if our cars can move. But when they actually built their own engine, it was so easy. Oh, this wasn't hard at all. And they built their own engines. And then installed it in the car. And then put in the fuel. And boom, turned in the ignition. And the car drove so well. Yes, we built we built our own engines. 지금은 한국차 자동차가 세상에 제일 인기 있게 팔려요. And now the Korean cars are the most popular in the world. 미국은 안 그렇지. <laughs> Popular in America too, right? <laughs> I'm not so sure. And so in that way, our life got better and better. And so in my spiritual life, since I was young, I was so hungry. I stole apples and and persimmons. I was so sure that I was a sinner. 그때 제가 제일 열다섯 시인가 열여섯 시인지 모른데. And back then, maybe I was fifteen or sixteen years old. 제가 친구들하고 제 밤에 나머지 사과 따 먹고 감따 먹고 그런 죄가 많아가지고 고통하다가. I committed so many sins, stealing apples and persimmons with my friends at night. I was suffering in pain of sin. 성경 일단 but through reading the Bible, I came to realize that my sins have been forgiven by the blood of Jesus. No matter how you look at it, the death of Jesus, it was for our sins. Is that right? The death of Jesus, other than for our sins, it has no purpose. It means that's right. Our sins have been forgiven. And then I read the Bible. 
구약 성경에서 속죄 제사를 And then in the sin offering of the Old Testament. 예수 그리스도 그림자 대신 한 양을 잡아요. As a foreshadow of Jesus Christ, they slay a lamb. 제상 그 양의 머리에 안수해. And the priest lays his hand upon the head of the lamb. 제가 레위기 4장을 읽었는데. I read Leviticus chapter 4. 죄송합니다만 저는 그때 성경을 상당히 여러 번. And back then I read the Bible so many times. 신구약 계속 읽었어요. I read the Old and New Testament through and through. 4장에 보니까 And in Leviticus chapter 4, it talks about how to have your sin forgiven. Back then, I didn't know how to get my sins forgiven. I would just pray, ask for forgiveness. But here it tells me how. My eyes opened wide. And when I read Leviticus chapter 4, first, when a priest has sinned, how he can be forgiven. And when I read further on, when the whole congregation has sinned, how they can be forgiven. Thirdly, when the rulers have sinned, how they can be forgiven. Forgiven. And then after that, 네 번째는, the fourth one is. 무슨 얘기가 나오냐면. What does it talk about? 잘 듣고 있습니까? Are you listening? 잘 들려요. Do you hear me? 평민의 하나가 여호와의 금년 주 하는 부지에 범한 허물이 있었다. If any one of the common people sin through ignorance while he doeth somewhat against any of the commandments of the Lord. 제사하는 방법. It talks about how he can receive the forgiveness of sins. He brings a kid of the goat to a female without blemish, lays his hand on its head, slays the goat, and puts the blood upon the horns of the altars. So when Jesus died on the cross, it included for the sins of the common people. Then it was including me as well. It was for my sins as well. 그러면 if so, 내가 죄인이에요. Then am I a sinner? 죄인이에요. Am I a sinner? 예수 십자 못 박힐 다못 박. 여러분 죄는 빼놓고 했어요. When Jesus died on the cross, was it without your sins? 예? Was it? 그랬어요. Is that what happened? 영어로 얘기할까요? Shall I say it in English? No. No. <웃음> 맞아요. That's right. It also included our sins. That's what the Bible tells us. I don't know what you think. But if it's wrong, fix it. The Bible is the truth. Here, what it talks about is the disciples of Jesus scattered abroad everywhere preaching the word. 맞아요. Is that right? 그 복음이 뭡니까? What is the word? What is the gospel? 예수님이 우리 죄를 위해 죽으셨다. That Jesus died for our sins. 자 그다음 질문입니다. And the next question. 예수님이 우리 죄를 위해 죽으셨으면 If Jesus died for our sins. 내 죄가 사해졌어요. 남아 있어요. Are our sins forgiven or do our sins remain? What? All together. It is true our sins have been forgiven. That's why in Acts chapter 8, Jesus was crucified. After he ascended, the disciples were so happy preaching the gospel in Jerusalem. Right? But in Acts chapter 8, verse 1, 그날에 예루살렘 있는 교회 큰 핍박이 나서 사도 외에는 유대와 사마리아 모았다 흩어졌다. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem, and they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Why did they get persecuted? No, why did they get scattered? This gospel not only in Jerusalem, but to Judea, in Samaria, and to whatever country, and to Rome, and to America, preach it to Korea, all over. By the grace of God, I received the forgiveness of sins in Korea. By the grace of God, most of you received the forgiveness of sins in America, right? 
예, 그래서 이런 전원이 그때는 막 피파기 나서 예루살렘에 있던 사람들 막 같이 와서 떠져 복음을 전했는데. And back then there was persecution. The people of Jerusalem were scattered all over to preach the gospel. 피파기가 나 예루살렘 안에서 막 복음 전한다고 하고 있었 If it was not for the persecution, they would be preaching the gospel only inside of Jerusalem. 사마리아와 유대 전체에 복음을 전. But now they preach the gospel to Samaria, all over Judea. 그다음에 이제 복음이 로마로 가기 위한. And then for the gospel to go to Rome. 바울이 하는 기도. 로마로 가는 그냥 관계 죄인이 돼 가지고 로마 저뭐 왕에게 재판 받으러 가는 식으로 가요. And the apostle Paul doesn't just go to Rome, but rather as a criminal, he is going to Rome to be judged by the king. 전부 그렇게 나와요. And that's what happens in the book of Acts. 그도 그들이 로마의 복음이 사도 바울로부터 시작해서 전해지기 시작했어요. And through apostle Paul, the gospel began to be preached in Rome. 사도행전 마지막 제일 부분을 보면 And if you look at the ends of the book of Acts, 사도 로마에 도착하는 걸로 사도행전은 끝이 나요. The book of Acts ends with Paul arriving in Rome. 그럼 그때부터 사도 바울과 또 많은 형제들이 로마에 가서 세계 수도 로마 복음을 로마 그때 복음으로 충만했었어요. And from then on, Apostle Paul and their brothers there begin to preach the gospel in Rome, the capital of the world, and Rome became filled with the gospel. 하늘 로마만 아니고 and not only to Rome, 미국에도 but to the America, 또 한국에도 to Korea, 독일에도 to Germany. 모든 나라에 복음이 전파되도록. God allowed the gospel to be spread to all the nations. And even though people say that Jesus died for my sins, people say that they're sinners. It doesn't make sense. Even though Jesus died for your sins, are you still a sinner? You are not. Right? He died for your sins. How could you still be a sinner? But Satan deceives you. You lied. You stole. Then you're a sinner. Get behind me, Satan. When he was crucified, it finished my sins. Amen. Believing in that is believing in the good Jesus. I went to church since I was young. When I would hang out with my friends in the evenings, I'd be hungry. And in the dark, I would steal persimmons and share it with my friends. And steal apples and eat them. I committed so many sins. And even though I was young, I went to the early morning prayer every day to confess my sins. And one day after everybody went back home, I was sitting there by myself asking for my sins to be forgiven. And then I grew and I read the Bible. The reason that Jesus was crucified, it was for our sins. Right then Jesus said, it is finished and he died. When he says it is finished, meaning he finished his purpose of coming to this earth. Through Jesus being crucified, he forgave our sins forever. But he gave you the freedom to believe this or not. And even though I'm suffering so much in pain because of my sins, but surely Jesus died for my sins. You can believe it that. And when I was young, I was reading the Bible by myself. And when I was reading Leviticus, especially in Leviticus chapter 4, it talks about the sin offering. Like I mentioned earlier, when the priest has sinned, when the ruler has sinned, when the common person has sinned, it talks about all about that. And what do they do when the common person has sinned? Bring over a kid of the goats, a female without blemish. Because the wages of sin is death. I need to die for my sins. But the female goat is brought it over to die instead of me. What does this mean? It is to show us that Jesus, the Lamb of God, would die instead of us for our sins. 
when Jesus came to this earth and when he died on the cross, no matter what anybody says, there the sins of the world was washed away. Everyone, let me ask you one important thing. Everyone, are you inside the world or outside the world? You're in America right now. We're not in the moon, are we? Is that right? Right? We're in America, not on the moon, right? You know, we're in the world, right? Because he took away the sins of the world, it means all your sins are forgiven. Amen. Amen. So what did John the Baptist say? Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. The day before, Jesus came to River Jordan when John, where John the Baptist was giving baptism. The sins needed to be placed upon Jesus for Jesus to take them away. And Jesus wanted to be baptized by John the Baptist. And John the Baptist was stunned. Who is he? He's the Son of God. You're the Son of God. Why do you want to be baptized by me? I need to be baptized of thee. But Jesus said to him quietly, Suffer it to be so now. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. And John the Baptist thought to fulfill all righteousness there is only one way for that to have all our sins washed forgiven. That means all righteousness will be fulfilled. My sins are forgiven. Ah, Ah, this means that through my laying on of hands on Jesus, the sin of the world is placed upon Jesus, and he will die for these sins to forgive all of us of our sins. We were all sinners, but now we are no longer sinners. Why? Because Jesus received all the punishment for your sins. Your sins have been laid upon Jesus. So when John the Baptist was, Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist, Jesus went to be baptized by John the Baptist. And when John laid his hand on the head of Jesus and baptized him, the sin of the world was laid upon Jesus. And the next day, John saw Jesus and said, What? Behold, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. Amen. Right then, all the sins of the American people was placed on him. Not only Americans, Koreans, Germans, Russians. For the sins of all mankind, all those sins were laid on Jesus. And through the death of Jesus on the cross, He received all the punishment of our sins. And our sins have been washed as white as snow. You did not shed a drop of blood, right? You didn't do anything. But our sins have been laid upon Jesus. And through his death on the cross, he, it was in the place of our death. And through the death of Jesus on the cross, the sin of the world was finished. And what were the final words of Jesus? It is finished. Amen. Amen. Well, Finish what? He came to forgive our sins. He finished that job when he died on the cross. And that's how our sins were all forgiven. Amen. Amen. You lied, you stole, you committed sins. But are those sins outside of the world or in the world? 
Yes, yes, yes. Yes, in the world. Do you understand? Yes, in the world. Do you understand? You know, don't get on an airplane and go to another planet or something, okay? <laughs> you are of the world. He took away the sin of the world. And this is what God says. And John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And when we commit sins, when they committed sins, the sin offering, the lamb is slain, and the blood of the lamb is put upon the horns of the altar. Why is the blood put upon the horns of the altar? And when I read the Bible, it says this. Sin of Judah. The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron with the point of a diamond. It is graven upon the table of their hearts and upon the horns of your altars. Our sins. In the table of our hearts, we say we're sinners. But our God recorded our sins on the horns of the altars. We committed sins in our hearts. We think, oh yeah, I lied, I stole, I'm a sinner. But God does not look at our heart. He looks at the horns of the altars. He goes, oh look, you have sins. Look, you have sins. But when Jesus was crucified, John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And therefore, after his death and his resurrection, in Acts chapter 8, and Saul was consenting unto his death. Stephen was put to death. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem, and they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. So why were they all scattered uh, to Samaria, Judea, all over the place? Why? why? Because of the persecution? But God gave them persecution so that they would not remain only in Jerusalem but scatter all over Judea and Samaria. And then it says, and then in verse 12 it talks about Philip. But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized both men and women. And then let us continue. Let's look at verse 4. Therefore they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. Right? God allowed them to be scattered so they could preach the gospel all over Judea and Samaria and then in the book of Acts and Paul becomes a criminal and he is taken to Rome and Paul preaches the gospel powerfully in Rome and from Rome, gospel spread to all the areas of Europe. And then the faith, you know, the, then the gospel reached America and Korea kind of late. But surely it is telling us that through these ways, God allowed the gospel to be preached all over. Amen. Amen. And so the conclusion of what the Bible is saying is God allowed the persecution so that without persecution they would only remain in Jerusalem. Through the persecution they were scattered throughout Samaria and Judea and allowed the gospel to be spread all over. And at the end of the book of Acts, Paul is taken to Rome as a criminal. And then, you know, Paul writes to the people of Romans. 
우리가 로마에 있는 너희께도 복음 전하길 원하노라. We want to preach this gospel to those of you who are in Rome as well. 마지막에 보면 And at the end of book of Acts. 사도 바울이 로마에 도착하는 걸로 사도행전이 끝이. The book of Acts ends with Paul arriving in Rome. 그다음에 이제 로마에서 복음의 역사가 일어났어. And the works of the gospel happen in Rome. 전 세계 가장 강력한 복음의 역사. And the most powerful works of the gospel happened in Rome. 정말 예루살렘도 복음 전하기로 하고 로마에 복음 전하고. And God wanted to preach the gospel in Jerusalem and in Rome. 그런 마음을 줬어요. And God gave them that heart. 그래서 하나님 은혜를 베푸셔서. And so God gave them grace. 미국이란 나라도 만드시고. He formed the country of America. 미국 사람의 죄를 위해서 시대 못 빠지. And he was crucified for the people of America. 한국 사람의 죄를 위해서. And also for the sins of people of Korea. Also for Germans. 이제 우리가 그걸 믿어야 해. This is what we must believe. 이제 그리고 여러분이 내가 죄인이라는 생각이 많이 있는데. And many people think that they have sinned. 예수 십자 내 죄를 사했기 때문에. But because Jesus forgave our sins at the cross. 예수 십자가로 말미암아. Through the cross of Jesus. 내 죄가 완벽하게 사해졌다는 사실을 믿어야 돼. We have to believe the fact that your sins have been forgiven perfectly. 자 이제 십절부터 십삼절까지 박목사님 이렇게. Okay, we'll read from verses 10 through 13. To whom they all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, saying, "This man is the great power of God." And to him they had regard, because that of long time he had bewitched them with sorceries. But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Then Simon himself believed also, and when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Yeah, Saul. 이제 예수든 피파가다가 다메섹에 올라가는 길에서 예수를 만나. And Saul was persecuting Jesus, but on his way to Damascus, he meets Jesus. 사울이 빛이 번쩍한 사울이 쓰러졌어. And there was a flash of light, and Saul passes out. 그때 누군가 소리를. And at that time, somebody speaks to him. 사울아, 사울아, 네가 왜 나를 피파가느냐? Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? 사울이 깜짝 놀랐어. And Saul was shocked. 주여, 누구십니까? Lord, who art thou? I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. Saul was shocked. That means it's true that Jesus resurrected. Saul used to say, oh, How could a person crucified resurrect? They are liars. They need to be put in jail and be punished. And he was on his way to capture the Christians in Damascus. There was a flash of light, and he was unable to see. And then he hears a voice. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And Saul says, Who art thou, Lord? I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. What? You're Jesus? Then it's true, you're alive. Wow, I did not know that. That's why I persecuted the Christians. Right. Rise up and go to the city. There will be someone who to meet you there. And he met Jesus and totally changed. And then in Damascus, he began to preach that Jesus is a servant of God. Wait, wait a minute, isn't he Saul? Isn't he a persecutor? Why is he acting like this? And that's how you were also. You used to not believe in Jesus. But then you now rejoice your sins are forgiven. You go to church, you work hard at the church. But the important thing is, it's not going to church or reading the Bible that's important. But the most important fact is that Jesus at the cross forgave your sins. But sadly, Satan deceives us all the way. Among many Korean people that I've met, I asked them, do you have sins? Yes, I do, they say. Didn't Jesus forgive them all? Yeah, he did. Then how could you still be a sinner? But I still sin, don't I? But didn't he forgive those sins? He did. But I still sin. It makes no sense. 
한참이 하니까 아 그렇구나 다 사했네. After we talk for all they go, oh yeah, he did forgive all our sins. Are you still a sinner? 어 지금 아닌 것 같아. 잘못했다. Not anymore. I had what I knew was wrong. 지금도 교회라는 분들 가운데서 죄인이란 분들이 많아요. And even today, there's many people who say that they're sinners, even though they go to church. 예수님 우리 죄를 위해 게 헛죽었다는 이야기죠. But then they are saying that Jesus died in vain for our sins. 말도 안 된다. No way. 그래 하나님이 우리 속에 살아 일하는 것. And through these things, we can see God living and working inside of us. One time, I was at home and I got a phone call. Pastor, I'm very sick. I'm on the verge of death. But I needed to go visit him, but I had no time. And one day I needed to visit another city. And I asked my wife, let's leave one hour early. And let's visit that brother at the hospital who's very sick. And when we got there, opened the door to his room. The brother was laying there showing no signs of life. His wife was at the back of the bed with her head down. And when I walked in, she just looked at me and put her head down again. And his mother was at the front of the bed, tears streaming down her face. When I opened the door and went in, the atmosphere was so strange. But I thought, wait a minute, Jesus is with me. So I said to that brother, Everybody said that he's going to die soon because of cancer. The whole room was filled with the atmosphere of death. But I told him, Brother Kim Chung Han, open your eyes and look at me. As I came here today, do you know what I thought? If it's not Pastor Oksu Park here, but if it was Jesus here, would Jesus leave? This place without reviving you? No way. Surely he would revive you. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? Jesus would not ignore the sick. And the word I remembered was, I remember, wait a minute, Jesus is here. He's inside of me as well. Then Jesus will heal this brother. You know, Jesus is not going to ignore him. So I told him, brother, open your eyes. Look at me. Oh, yes, yes, pastor. They say you're going to die soon. The doctor says you have not many days to live. But listen carefully to what I'm saying. What the Bible says is, it says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Brother, you're on the verge of death right now. The doctor says you only have two, three more days. But not so in the eyes of God. If Jesus is here right now, he would speak to you. But would he just leave you without healing you? No, surely if Jesus sees how sick you are, he will revive you. And there is God in me, there is Jesus in you. Believe that that Jesus will heal you. I explained to him. I told him, do you understand? Yes. Okay, I'm leaving now, hurry up and get up. And I left. The wife was so sad, the mother was so sad. And one day after service, I got a phone call. Pastor, tomorrow I'm being discharged from the hospital. They cannot find any cancer cells in my body. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's what faith is. Don't try to defeat the disease yourself. Try to defeat it through Jesus. When you have a difficulty, 
Say, I'm not alone. Jesus is with me. I cannot solve this problem. But Jesus who is with me can solve this problem. This is not a problem. Thank you. Go ahead and say that. Then God will work. Not long after, that brother called me. Pastor, tomorrow I'm getting discharged. They examined me today. They found no cancer cells in my body. I praise the Lord. Only God can do this. And that brother left the hospital. He came to my church and gave testimony. He gave testimony of how he got healed. The important thing is, Jesus, yesterday, today, and forever he is the same. Jesus who healed the sick in Jerusalem a long time ago, when he raised the dead a long time ago, likewise he delivered you from sin. Amen. Amen. And he is together with you. When you are in difficulty, do not think that you're alone. Even though you don't see him with your eyes. Hey, don't attack me. Jesus is with me. You cannot defeat me. Jesus protects me. Give glory to God. Then the works of God will arise in you more and more. And as a pastor, you know, I've trained many, many other pastors. And one time, one of our missionaries went out without knowing the language at all. And he got off at the airport. The customs officers asked him, So what is this? And all he could do was just smile at him. And they held him for two hours. And after two hours, the airport workers let him go. But from the other side, one lady came running to him. It was a Korean person. Are you so and so? Oh, yes, I am. So what brings you here? My friend from Korea called me this morning and said that a good news missionary will be going to your country, she said to me. She told me that he doesn't know the language, he doesn't know anybody here. That's why I came here to help you out. And that lady helped that lady helped that missionary find the place to live and everything. And that missionary did not know the language. He would gather people and he said, I'm going to preach to you. He would preach. They would say, hold on. And then the people would discuss, what is he trying to say? Oh, it must mean this. Okay, now continue. And he would preach. And then they would discuss and figure out what he's saying. And that's how, how that missionary preached the gospel. Good thing about young people going out. In one year, they learned the language fluently. And they preached the gospel. And I ask our missionaries. And the people ask our missionaries, do you guys belong to a mission? Yeah, we do. What is it called? It's called the Good News Mission. And then they say to him, you have a mission and they sent you out like this? Because we just send them out. Because nobody can help you more than Jesus. One time we sent a missionary to Brazil. Pastor, I don't speak Portuguese at all. What should I do? Get on the flight from Korea to Brazil. Get on the flight. And there's a flight from Korea to Brazil. Direct flight. And on that flight, make friends. The flight is like more than eight hours long. You know, and he met people on the flight. But now he's good at Portuguese. And that's what And people ask us sometimes, do you guys belong to a mission? We do. What mission is it? It's the good news mission. 
좀 줘요 주는데 뭐 조금만 줘요. We do give the mission funds, but just a little bit. 성경 보내요. And we send out our missionaries. 왜냐하면 because 나는 하나님도 와 함께 하실 줄 안다. Because we know God's gonna be with you. 내가 하나님부터 안 한다. 네가 알아서 해라. You know God's gonna help you. Go ahead and do figure it out. 전 세계에 수천 명의 선교사를 보냈어요. And we sent out thousands of missionaries all around the world. 미국에도 지금 몇 명이 났어요? 칠십 명. And we sent 70 Korean missionaries to the U.S. 전 세계 수천 명이 가서 그냥 맨주먹으로 거기 가요. And we have thousands all around the world. They go empty-handed. 나라 말 배우고, learn the language, 나라 풍속 배우고, learn the culture, 나라 만나고, and meet people, 복음을 전하는데, and preach the gospel. 이제 전 세계 거의 대부분의 나라 Good News Mission이 들어. And in almost all the countries in the world, Good News Mission has gone in. 물론 우리는 사람보다 하나님을 믿습니다. And we believe in God more than people. 하나님은 우리와 같이 계셔. And God is with us. 하늘 전부터 우리 선교사분 당신도 선교회가 있어요. You know, people would ask our missionaries, "Do you guys belong to a mission?" 다른 나라 가서 보면 미국 선교사들은 아프리카 가서 미국 하나 만들어요 거기 나가. Because other missionaries they go to other difficult countries in Africa or whatever, and they bring their everything with them. 이제 세탁기, 이제 뭐 같은 걸 가요. They bring washers and dryers, refrigerator. They bring all their stuff. 우리 한국 선교 우리 군유선 미션은 그냥 잘가 그래요. But when our we send out our Korean missionaries, we just go, we just send them. Go ahead, bye. 한 번은 제가 미국 갔는데. One time I went to the U.S. 미국에 있는 선교사들 좀 그런 얘기 대화를 하더라고. And then I was talking with our missionaries in the U.S. 내가 이야기를 했어. And I said to them, 내 얘기 잘 들어요. Listen up. 해 미국에 있는 다른 도시에 전도 여행을 가요. Go on a mission trip to another city in America. 부부가 둘이 가요. You and your wife. 갈때그 도시까지 가는 생전 청가본. Make sure you go to a city you've never been to before. 가서 go there. 가서 정말 티켓을 가는 편도 티켓만 사요. And just buy a one-way ticket to that city. 한달 동안 있다 오라고 했어요. And stay there for a month. 저는 비행기 타고 한국에 왔어요. And then I returned to Korea. 다음에 갔는데. And then when I came back to the U.S. 우리 집에 마치면. 그 해외 갔다 그 잠비우에 단 도시 갔더니 간증을 하는데. The missionaries who went to all those cities, they would give me their testimonies. 부부가 돈한푼안 가지고 가서 한달 동안 사는. How those they went there with their wives with no money at all and survived for a month. 어떻게 그런 이야기를 해요? They told me about how God helped them. 저도 맨주먹으로 전도 여행을 많이 했었어요. I also went to many mission trips empty-handed. 그때마다 하나님이 돕는 걸볼 수. But every single time I saw God helping me. 하나님 우리 아버지십니다. God is our Father. 내가 아들이 어려움 당할 원하겠어. Would you want your son to suffer? 아니지요. No. 아버지인데. You're the father. 한 우리 아버지인데. God is our father. 누구보다 우리를 위하시. He cares for us more than anyone. 어려운 것 같지만. Even though it looks difficult. 힘든 것 같지만. Even though it looks hard. 하나님 경험하고. We experience God. 경험하면 할수록. And the more we experience Him, our faith grows. 기뻐하고 감사해. And we rejoice and we're thankful. 저희들 성교 학생들. And I'm not so good to our missionary students. 성조 이제 뭐 어떤 나라 보낼 때가. And when we send them out as missionaries, we just pack their bags and tell them go. And the brothers, they just go. But even though they take nothing with them, they have so many testimonies of the works of God. It's so nice. Some missionaries, other missionaries say to our missionaries, "Do you guys even belong to a mission?" We do. But they sent you out like this. 그래 보내요 하나님 일하지. Yeah, that's why God works. 성교가 다 하면 하나님 일할 거 없잖아요. If the mission does all the work, then there's nothing for God to do. 실제 하나님이 가서 일하는 거 보면. And when we actually see how God works. 군유수 성교의 성교사들이 가서 실패한 데 하나도 없어. The good news missionaries went out. They never failed once. 어려움 많고 고난 많은데도. There was a lot of difficulties and hardships. 너무 좋았어. They did so well. 우리가 처음에 케냐에 갔을 때. When we first went to Kenya. 내가 이제 어디에 케냐 우리 선교사 두 명을 보냈는데. I had sent two of our missionaries to Kenya. 어디 케냐에 그 어떤 큰 교회 목사님이 자기 교회 이름으로 자기 종교 등록을 자기 그 속해서 종교 등록업소 일할 수 있게 했어. And there was a pastor of a big church in Kenya who allowed us to belong to them and we got religious visas through them. 근데 참 우연하게 제가 어떤 사람 만났는데. And but by chance I got to meet with that pastor. Only by Jesus work. And I had written a book called Only by Jesus Works. 그 책을 이제 그 뭐야 그분이 읽었어요. And he read that book. 그래 날 보고 뭐좀 
And he asked me, I have a favor to ask of you. You know, and then I wrote for him. And then he uh, replied for religious registration. And then he was the officer at religious registration. In Kenya, you cannot do religious activities without the registration. And there are many churches that use registration of large churches and they have to pay for the using them. And but the person that I got to meet, he was the highest person at the religious registration. And, and then we talked about this and that and he was able to register us for religious registration so we were able to easily get registration in Kenya and so the amazing works of the gospel are happening in Kenya and all over the world wherever we preach the gospel if we don't preach there's nothing for God to do even though we are lacking and weak even though we are poor when we run forward for the gospel each time we were able to see God helping us and all around the world our missionaries are working so powerfully may we all become one to live for the gospel of God and for God to bless you before you have all the conditions met we have to learn the faith to receive from God. But if you have so much money, you can never learn that faith. Because you will rely on money instead of God. But those who truly don't have money, they can rely on God. I've done so many things without money. And we have many difficulties, but we always saw God helping us. Now as we preach this gospel, don't just unclearly believe. God is our Father. And when you're in difficulty, God helps you more than anyone. May you believe that. May you believe in God and throw away your humanly methods. From then on, God will work amazingly in your heart. Whether it be in money or health, He will help you in every way. But above all, you will be able to experience God working inside of you. I truly thank you. And this summer we're having a big camp in Korea. I'm sorry, Korea is really far from Korea, uh, America. You know, the air tickets are expensive. But please come. You know, come and don't just attend the camp for one week. Stay in Korea for about two weeks. And share fellowship. And talk about the Bible together, it'd be great. It's such an honor to be with you pastors in America. And I hope that God will bless you so that the world will become one and through the gospel we may spread all over the world. Many people are worried about the future of America. In the decades to come they say many churches will disappear. Many people say that. But I don't think so. Because God loves America. That may happen but but I want to see the works of the gospel for God in America. And for many years we are here preaching the gospel. And our missionaries are here preaching the gospel. We have many difficulties and problems, but they all came empty handed and they all doing a great job. And they gave so many beautiful testimonies of how they bought churches in America. To come to America empty handed and then buy a chapel is not easy. But the good news mission by nothing else but by preaching the gospel we're leading people so that anyone could hear the gospel and receive the forgiveness of sins. I'm so thankful to meet with you today. And one thing I want to say all of us are one inside of Jesus. What I want to ask of you is, next summer we'll be having a camp in Korea. Please come to Korea. 
더 부유한 나라는 아니지만 Korea is not better off than America. 참잘 사는 나라라고 모두 얘기해요. But everybody says people live really well there. 한국 가면 재밌는 게 And the funny thing about Korea. 제일 먼저 First of all, 한국은 어디도 경찰이 없대요. You don't see police officers in Korea. 저도 한 번도 만나본 적이 없어요. I never ran into one either. 시내 어디도 경찰이 없어요. You don't see police officers in the city at all. 근데 but 범죄가 하나도 없어요. There's no crime. 어떻게 하는지 몰라요. I don't know how they do that. 한국에 지하철을 많이 타는데. In Korea, people ride on the subway. 지하철에 돈 가방을 놔두고 가도. Even though you leave a bag of money behind in the subway, 그대로 있대요. you come back in the evening, it's still there. 한국에 착한 것도 아닌데 사람들. You know the Korean people aren't that nice. 정말 한국이 좋은 나라로 인정을 받고 있어. Really Korea is recognized as a good country. 정말 어려울 때 미국이 한국을 도와줘. And when we're in difficulty, America helps Korea. 너무 감사하고. And I'm so thankful. 한국 전쟁 있을 때 우리는 거의 완전히 이북처럼 공산주의가 될 뻔. And during the Korean War, we almost became like North Korea. 근데 지금은 너무 잘 사는 나라. But now we are a country that lives really, really well. 감사하고요. And I'm so thankful. 이번 여름 캠프 때 한국 모두 오십시오. And during the summer camp this year, I hope all of you can come to Korea. 한국과 깊은 더 신앤의 교제를 가졌습니다. And we can have deeper spiritual fellowship together. 여러분 빨리 일을 해서. And may where you work. 다시 미국이 옛날처럼 복음으로 가득 찬 나라가 되겠죠. And I hope that like America before will be full of the gospel. 점점 신앤이 식어지는 나라로 인정을 받고 있는데. You know, people say the faith is cooling off in America. 여러분 볼때 그런 것 같지 않습니다. But in our eyes, it does not seem so. 새롭게 만듭시다. Let us renew America. 하나님 미국을 축복해 주시옵소서. God may You bless America. 여러분들 그 일에 쓰임을 받아서. And maybe we be used for that work. 미국을 복음으로 가득 채웠으면 좋겠습니다. Let us fill America with the gospel. 여러분 함께한 정말 감사합니다. Thank you so much for joining us. 그리고 and 자주 미국에 오겠습니다. I will visit America often. 기도하겠습니다. Let us pray. 거룩하신 하나님 아버지 앞에 감사드립니다. Our Holy Father God, we thank you. 우리 죄로만 멸망을 받을 사람. Through sin, we're supposed to receive destruction. But when we read about how Jesus has saved us from sin one by one, we're so thankful. The precious servants of God are gathered here. And now may the Holy Spirit work powerfully inside of us. And through Jesus, let America, people who are dying, be revived. And like before, let us comfort other countries and give strength. And let many missionaries come from America to preach the gospel all over. Let it be a precious country used by God. Be a blessed country of God. Let America grow renewed within your grace. 오늘 여기 이렇게 많은 목회자 함께 와서 so many pastors are gathered here together. 하나님은 영광으로 감사를 드. We give you infinite thanks and glory. 이들의 사역 속에 성령의 능력으로 역사해 주옵소서. In their ministries, may the Holy Spirit work powerfully. 미국이 새롭게 눈을 뜨고. And let America's eyes be opened. 교회를 떠나갔던 사람들이 뉘우치고 다시 돌아와서. And let the people who have left the church come back. 교회를 가득 채우게 주시고. To fill our churches. 다시 복음으로 온 세계를 이끄는 좋은 미국이 되도록 축복해 주옵소서. And let America lead the whole world with the gospel, Lord. 이번에 이렇게 밤낮 없이 많은 분들이 목사님 들어서 앉아서 교제하셔서 너무 감사합니다. Day and night, so many pastors have joined us here to. Share the word. We're so thankful. New Korean Mokeja, all in a heart. Let all the pastors in America rise up and join our hearts together. Lord, bless us to run strongly for the gospel. To become a nation of the gospel before you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. May you bless us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much. So before you go back to your hotel rooms, uh, I just want to let you know there is a changes in the speakers for the tomorrow's empowerment talks. So I'll just give you a brief overview of who's speaking. Uh, Pastor Stephen uh, Smotherman will be doing how to build a church of influence. Bishop Daryl Brister, taming temptation. Uh, Bishop Mark Karinki is Karyuki is coming as well. Then we'll hear a world prophetic panorama from Pastor Armando Alducin and ecosystem of faith from Pastor Dwayne Sheriff. Implementing Christ's model of leadership in your church, Pastor Jerry Lawson will continue. And the pastor's spiritual life, Pastor Danny Anderson. It's a process by Bishop Keith Reed and 
and there they preach the gospel. Pastor Kyung Hyun Nam is a new uh, empowerment talk that will start tomorrow. And then we have Faith Upgrade 101 from Bishop Darlingston Johnson. So everyone, once again, if you would like to know how to give a gift offering for the work that CLF is doing, uh, there is offering boxes around. But if you want to write check, please make the check to Christian Leaders Fellowship. But you can also support uh, CLF through Zelle. It was the email address, support at clfusa.org. Once again, we'll have our good morning, uh, good morning CLF in the cafeteria uh, at 7.30 in the morning. And we'll have our main program here once again after the Empowerment Talks. Everyone, good night and see you tomorrow.